Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in today's video we're going to be following the development of a common frog tadpole from newly laid spawn to fully developed froglet. Let's do this. The common frog's journey starts in early spring when adult frogs migrate back to their breeding pools. Males usually arrive first and when the females arrive the males jostle to grab hold of them round the waist in a position known as amplexus. After hours, days, or sometimes even weeks, each female produces a clump of around a thousand eggs. Each egg is surrounded by a thin layer of jelly, which expands over time. This is how an egg looks less than 24 hours after being laid. The black embryo is almost perfectly round and measures less than 2 millimeters across. On day two, a bumpy ridge can be seen at the top of the embryo. This is where the spine and nerves of the developing tadpole are starting to form. A day later and there has been a massive change. Some parts of the tadpole are already noticeable. Here the head is at the top of the screen and the tail is pointing downwards. By day four the tadpole is already starting to move around within the spawn. On either side of its head you can see the beginnings of its external gills and it is now easy to separate the head from the tail. On day 5 the body of the tadpole has got even longer and it now measures about 4mm in length. This footage isn't sped up and shows how quickly the tadpole is wriggling within the jelly. By day 6 the young tadpole has completely left the jelly and is now free swimming. The external gills on either side of its head are often confused with developing legs but they actually help the tadpole to breathe underwater. Here is a closer look. Unlike mammals, amphibians have three chambered hearts and you can see here how as it pumps, the tiny blood cells move up and down the gills, collecting oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide as they go. Over the next two days, these external gills gradually become covered in a layer of skin and the tadpoles begin to swim around. These two are about 2 cm long. The next stage of tadpole development takes the most time. They constantly use their small downturned mouths to graze on algae and other organic matter. As they get bigger and hungrier they can start to become carnivorous and where food is in short supply they will even try to eat each other. After several weeks and sometimes months they can reach a length of more than 4 centimeters and then it is time to begin their biggest transformation. This starts with the back legs which you can see here at the base of this tadpole's tail. They are small and useless at first but over the next week they grow longer and more powerful. During this time the tadpole also starts to develop proper lungs and they spend more of their time at the top of the water breathing in air from above the surface. The next stage is to start growing front legs. This doesn't happen instantly and you can see here how it isn't always or even often both front legs at the same time. So far this tadpole only has a right leg and a stump on the left side. You can also see how the tadpole's eyes have moved to the top of its head and its mouth has changed to become more frog-like. Usually less than a day later the tadpoles will have grown all four of their legs and now start to use these to help them swim. The gills that they were born with are being reabsorbed too and they are completely reliant on air from above the surface. For this reason they spend a lot of their time in the shallow edges and sometimes out of the water completely. Less than a week later and the tadpole's development into a young frog is pretty much complete. Their tails are now almost gone and just a black lump remains. Within another few days this will be gone completely and the froglet will be a complete miniature version of its parents. All of a froglet's behaviours after it leaves the water are controlled by instinct and these first few days are very important to them. For this reason 
I release them back at the edge of the ponds where they were laid as soon as possible after they become froglets. Well, full of froglets, their journey is just beginning here. They have to survive at least three years before they can return to the ponds themselves to breed. During that time, they're at risk from predators, starvation, and from the impacts of people. Now, if you've enjoyed this video about frogs, then you might also like the video I've made before about how to identify the frogs and toads of the UK. I've also done some underwater stuff filming newts recently, um, and there's lots of other general British wildlife videos on there. Check them out, I'm sure our videos will be popping up here and a video will be popping up here. Also, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and help the channel to grow. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.